Sorry I'm late. Did you forget to set your alarm clock? to my nerdy home. My name is Stephanie. Thank you so much for watching this video. So I did have another video planned for today and I did film it, but while I was doing my research for that video, I was kind of watching John Boyega's live stream today and <laughs> it just sort of tied so well into this article from Bounding Into Comics that I could let, I couldn't not speak on it and I kind of wanted to talk about it, both his live stream and this article. Because I think we can all agree that if there's one good thing that came from the sequel trilogy, from the Disney sequel Star Wars trilogy, it's John Boyega. I mean, he is such a freaking gem right now. So on his Instagram, John Boyega posted a photo of his fellow Star Wars actor, Oscar Isaac, in his Dune outfit, looking fucking badass with like his hair grown out and a beard. <laughs> Underneath the photo, he put, fucking hell, Oscar. <laughs> Hashtag Dune. I, I can't even say it without using the H. Facking L Oscar. So this photo alone with that caption doesn't really throw any shade at Star Wars. However, he did comment below that photo and said, why the fuck we ain't get that in Star Wars? <laughs> And that's where the shade comes in. He did delete that comment, but it, it was already thrown out there. Someone already grabbed it. I know I did. I know Tugs did. So it's no surprise that that comment actually ended up being put in this article. John Boyega really is not shy about expressing his opinions on certain things. And that's what makes him so enjoyable so grounded, so humble, so authentic. Now, John Boyega does really love Star Wars. I recognized that as soon as I saw him upload, or someone uploaded, his reaction to the very first trailer from episode seven. Uh, he went wild when he saw the ending to that trailer, where he picked up the lightsaber and it turned on. He went wild for it. Yeah. Oh. I bet he thought that his character was going to be a Jedi and I bet he was extremely disappointed when that didn't pan out. Someone did tweet to him on Twitter and said, at John Boyega was honestly robbed of so much in Star Wars. A stormtrooper turned Jedi would have been some goat level plot work. That is so freaking accurate. John Boyega replied to that person and said, would have been crazy. He really wanted that for his character. He really did. You could totally tell that's what he thought was going to happen, but it didn't pan out, unfortunately. Unfortunately. When he was on his live stream today, like I said, I was watching it. I watched practically the whole thing. I really love his live streams. During this quarantine, he does go live a lot. If you put in a request to be in a video with him, and if you're lucky enough to be in a video with him or to be in a live stream with him, he does go through, choose, and pick some fans to kind of interact with him during a live stream. It's such a really neat thing that he does. He does sometimes get his friends on there and just kind of bullshits with them, but he doesn't stay on long with them. He's mostly live for the fans. He takes a lot of questions. He just talks to them. He asks them how they're doing. He has like one-on-one -on -one conversations and just the way that he speaks to them. He reaches them on an emotional level. I've watched so many of his live streams and they're just fantastic. He's such a great guy. Now today during his live stream, he did not want to answer any Star Wars questions. It was probably just so close to all of this stuff that came out after he posted that Instagram pic of Oscar Isaac and that comment that he was just like, I don't really want to comment on Star Wars. So he was asking people, you know, to ask him some questions, but he's like, I'm not answering any Star Wars questions today. However, he was in Star Wars. The questions were going to come. It was inevitable. He was going to get questions about Star Wars. So he did actually end up answering some questions about Star Wars. One of the questions was, can you yell Ray? And this was his answer. Can you yell Ray real quick? I can't, man. That line, my esophagus is nearly like disintegrated, so I can't really, can't really say that line because I spent the whole entire ride skeletal shouting for that beautiful lady's name. This is so perfect, right? Oh my gosh. I laughed so hard after he said that. Another question somebody asked was, would you be interested in doing a future Star Wars movie? And this was his answer. Would you come back to Star Wars in the future? Of course, guys. As long as, you know, for me, it's, it's just about story. It's about story like anybody, like anybody else, uh, you know, even if JJ was to, to come back or, 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 you know, anyone that was, is attached to the project, 
it's going to be about story and whether, and whether or not it's worth bringing these characters back after such a finale. Personally, in my head, I don't see how that will happen with the ending, but I'm not, I'm not, um, I didn't write it, so I, I, I can't imagine um, past a, a, an official writer on the project, so who knows. But I'm open to it, man. It's all good, man. But I want to do other stuff at the moment, though. Now I really liked his answer to this question. It did seem like a very safe answer. Like, sure, yeah, I would love to do it, but I don't really see how it would kind of work out because of the way they ended things. It was an extremely safe answer, and I like the fact that he kind of threw it in there that, like, I didn't write it, so kind of like, don't blame me if I don't come back to the franchise. Like, I didn't write the story. Another thing you find out is that his favorite character from the Star Wars series is Anakin. I'm gonna answer more questions, guy. Anakin. He was just kind of scrolling through the questions that were sent to him and just blurting out answers. So one question was Marvel or DC, he chose DC. And we also find out that he's a Slytherin. So, oh my God, John Boyega is one of us. I think I'm gonna do the rest of the video in my Slytherin hoodie. Okay, someone also asked him how he feels about Oscar Isaac's new Dune outfit. He had this to say. Incredible. I sent him a text. I would show you guys the te our text chain, but obviously he's on this front. I'm proud of that guy, man. I, I love him so much. He's my brother. And I know he's somewhere, you know, he's missing all these days. He's just chilling, man. So yeah, him and Oscar Isaac are incredibly close. He said he's like his brother. So nothing but love between those two guys. I do watch a lot of John Boyega's live streams. I really do enjoy watching them. He's an incredibly authentic person. He says what's on his mind. He doesn't really apologize for it. Okay, I can't wear the hood. You know, he is who he is and that's really commendable. Right now, we don't really see a lot of actors and actresses just being themselves, being regular people, and that's kind of what we see in John Boyega. He's just someone who really loves what he does. He tries really hard to not let everything that's going on, everything that he achieves, to not change him. He's incredibly humble, and that's just something that we don't see nowadays in celebrities. So anyways, that is the video. <laughs> Those are my thoughts on everything that's going on with John Boyega, and just a few little clips from his live stream today. What do you guys think? Do you like John Boyega? And are you on Team Slytherin? Let me know in those comments down below. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please come and say hi on Instagram and Twitter. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and feel free to share it around if you like. Also, I hope you'll consider subscribing and let me know in those comments down below what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. I feel like listening to music. I wonder what John Boyega would listen to. Maybe blue. Woo! Slip. This is my tune. Pretty Ricky, they're my favorite band. <laughs> I don't give a shit. It's my favorite band. I say it with my chest. Baby jazz. Woo! I'm a, uh, yes. Uh.